All right, guys, it is finally on. It finally happened. 2019 Mr. Olympia has just begun and this is the pre-judging. And right now in this video, we're going to watch the top four comparisons and we're going to do a little analysis. So let's do just uh, this top four right now. I'm going to make another video breaking down the entire lineup. But first, let's go with the top four. And left to right, you have Harry Chopman, William Bonek, Brandon Curry and Rolly Winkler. So the first pose they hit is a front double bicep and you can see that the Brandon Curry and William Bonac are in the middle. Now that does not mean that they are going to be the top two. Maybe the judges want to compare William Bonac and Rolly Winkler to Brandon Curry. It doesn't have to mean anything, but the way it seems, the way it looks, if you ask me, my opinion, I think Brandon is winning it, just like I said before. In this pose, he's definitely looking the most dominant. Those arms are just glaring. As far as the legs, he's known for having weaker legs, but they are not looking weak by any means right here. I mean, Rolly, sure, he has bigger legs, sure, but they are not as conditioned. They are not as detailed as Brandon's, not as polished. So if we talk about conditioning, who brought it here? Well, I must say that Brandon brought it. I mean, he is full and conditioned. Rolly came a little bit off, just like I said. It was visible based on that photo. Now, Rolly is not horribly unconditioned like he was at the Arnold. He's still conditioned, but not that good, not that well. Definitely not enough to win him the Mr. Olympia. He was definitely better last year. As far as William Bonek, he brought it. He was without his coach. He had a friend helping him, as he says, but not uh, Neil Hill Yoda, not his coach that was prepping him for the past couple of years. But he brought it, he brought an amazing package, but, you know, his overall structure and the shape and everything won't allow him to beat guy like Brandon, no way. But will it be enough to beat Hadi and Rolly? Can he beat Hadi? Yes, he can. Hadi was amazing, he's probably the most conditioned guy at this stage. Not as good as he was at the Vancouver Pro, but still very good. In this pose you can see amazing set of legs, the best legs at that stage, without a doubt, without a doubt, those legs are just amazing. But the arms just look a little bit too small compared to the rest of the lineup. And back as well, but we're gonna come to back uh, later on. As for now, based on this pose, I would say Brandon Curry first. Then you can go both with William Bonac or Rolly Winkler. I would rather say Rolly than Bonac, but I would say Bonac third and uh, Heidi Chopin fourth. Let's go with the next pose. But before we do that, let's check William Bonac and Heidi Chopin once again. So here you can see them standing next to one another. And I mean, they're both on. They're definitely both on. As far as legs, Hardy has a little bit bigger legs, but I prefer the shape of Bonex. As far as waist, pretty close. I guess Hardy's waist is a little bit uh, more narrow, but his lats are a little bit higher. Now, as far as arms, very close. I would go rather with Bonex. And I mean, pretty much everything else is just very close. These guys are so close. And it seems like Hadi is actually taller than Bonac. <laughs> I had no idea. I thought Hadi would be shorter. But I must say, Hadi is doing so well against the big guys. I thought he would look much smaller compared to them, but no. Hadi is really looking just as big as these guys, not any smaller. And he hits the conditioning very well, also. Now we come to the front lat spread. So what can we see here? Well, I think it's pretty obvious that Brandon is absolutely dominating this lineup in this pose. Hadi is over there beating William. He's looking better in this front lat spread. And it's between Rolly and Brandon for the title. So I would say in this case, Brandon still. I mean, Rolly didn't really hit the mark. He's not completely conditioned. Not as much as he should have been. If he was a little bit more peeled, it would be much closer and he would have a chance to win. But right now, in my opinion, no. No, Brandon has just a lot more details, fuller physique, less flaws, especially from the back. But we're gonna come to the back. Now we're watching front lat spread. It's a front side pose. And you can see that still Brandon is dominating this one. His chest is looking fuller. The lats are more prominent. The arms are also looking better. And the details in the quads, definitely better. Overall, I just say Brandon is just more complete, more polished, more conditioned, more complete in every sense. So I have Brandon winning this pose and probably the competition. Brandon actually got so big that he looks bigger than Rolly. I think he's bigger than he was at the Arnold. I think he gained some size actually. Now from the sides, this is where Brandon takes it home so easily. He's absolutely annihilating the lineup in this pose. Side chest. Just look at him here. Just look at the, the definition, I mean the condition, the tight, tight skin of his quads. Also, the glutes and hamstrings, compare them to Rollis. Big difference, big difference. 
as far as their arms and chest, they're close, but I'd still go with Brandon. He just looks fuller and more polished, more conditioned. But I think it is between Rolly and Brandon. Now, it's possible that William can edge uh, Rolly out, just based on conditioning, but size matters in the Sin City, as the slogan says, and uh, Rolly is conditioned enough to beat uh, William Bonac. Now, as far as William Bonac versus Hadi in this pose, you can go either way. They're very, very close. I guess, overall, all poses considered, especially the back poses, William is just better than Hadi. So I think William is going to take the third spot and Hadi fourth, just like I predicted. Let's see the close-up of Hadi Chopin and William Bonek. And you can see here, it's very close, very close. You could go either way. And they are close in size and conditioning and everything, and in stature, everything. I mean, very, very close, these two guys. But I think it's going to be William. Yeah. And now you're going to see actually why. So the other poses were very close, but this one is very, very good for William. Look at his back double bicep. Reminds me of Phil Heath quite a bit. Not as good as Phil Heath, of course. He's more narrow in the shoulders and has a little bit thicker waist than Phil. But still, the thickness of that back is really, really good. And probably the best back double bicep here. Now, is it the best back double bicep in general? I don't know, because he doesn't have that perfect structure. He doesn't have that disappearing small waist like Brandon here. Now, Brandon is really good at this pose because of that small waist and because of extremely developed back and wide shoulders and huge arms. But as far as Hadi, he is the worst in, in back double biceps. Still very good, very good, very good, to, good enough to grant him the fourth position, but not more than that. And uh, Roly, of course, the worst in this one. Uh, not worse than Hadi, though, I wouldn't say so. I mean, he didn't flex the pose com completely here, but I got what I got. Anyways, we're gonna move on to the next part. You're gonna see close up of Brandon and Roly. Let's see that. Hmm. So, you see that? You see that right there? That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. I mean, it's obvious. It's obvious. Just throw the glutes, hamstrings, the lower back, not just the spinal erectors, but the lower lats are non-existent at, at Rollis, really, really. I mean, he's conditioned, quite conditioned, and if he was a little bit more conditioned, it would look better, but those high lats, the, the, the non-existent ones, basically, and the lower portion of his back just being so shallow, and the glutes being so separated and small, I guess the other body parts from the front and from the sides are going to allow him to take the second place, but it's questionable. Maybe he's going to end up being third or fourth, but probably second, although definitely not first. I'm quite confident to say that uh, Brandon is our next Mr. Olympia. Some things can change from the pre-judging to finals. We'll see what happens tomorrow, but as for now, I'd go with Brandon, I'm pretty sure. Here you can see how much Bonek is better than Hadi in the back lat spread, but now we come to the back, uh, no, sorry, the back double bicep, but now we come to the back lat spread. So now we're going to see uh, Brandon Curry versus Rolly, because Rolly is much better in back lat spread than he is in the back double bicep. So you can see right here, but what I see first is Hadi Chopin. Hadi has the widest back right here, and he's winning this one. But uh, Bonek has those thick, thick glutes. And also very thick back, but uh, Hadi is definitely the widest. So I'd say Hadi is beating uh, probably all of them in this one. Yeah, I would say so. But, uh, you know, not the other poses. So if you take a look at uh, Rolly versus Brandon, which is, I think, one and two, um, you can see that it's very close in this one. Rolly is super huge, super wide. But the thickness of the traps and the lats, you can still notice they are bigger at Brandon's. But let's check a close-up. Let's see how it looks uh, from a little bit shorter distance. And now you can see much better. And uh, I mean, it's close. It's definitely close. But the, the thickness of the legs, I mean, the hamstrings and glutes, I would go with uh, Brandon. And also the thickness of the lats and traps, the entire back, I think Brandon is better. I think Brandon is definitely better. This one, much closer though, much closer. I mean, Rolly is also very good at this one. But I would still go with Brandon. I would still go with Brandon. And as far as Bonek versus Hadi, yeah, Hadi, Hadi definitely beats them all in the back lat spread. Even though he's shorter than them, not shorter than Bonek. Is he shorter than Bonek? I am not sure. They are all very close as far as height. And uh, Hadi, Bonek, and Brandon competed in 212 before. And now they are the top three in the Mr. Olympia, or top four. So, sends a message. Short guys do much better. Now we come to the side tricep pose and... Um, it's, it's very close. All of these guys look great in this one. So, as far as Bonac versus Hadi, I would go with Hadi. Hadi is very good at side tricep. Not just the triceps themselves, but the entire body just looks very impressive. Still, Bonac is very good. 
he's just a little bit too, you know, blocky in the waistline. And that's why I would go with Cuddy. But as far as Roly and uh, Brandon, Roly can hit the proper tri side tricep. Usually he cannot do it. So he does this variation, which still looks very good. But uh, I'm looking at their quads. I'm looking at the quads and the hamstrings and the glutes. And um, Brandon is just destroying him. He's much, much leaner, much more conditioned. Look at the tight skin on his quad, paper thin skin, literally. And uh, overall, as far as the upper body, I mean, it's close, but uh, the, the legs, the legs on Brandon are just looking much better, much more conditioned, much more polished. And I would go with Brandon as far as this pose. And the majority of them, actually, almost all of them. The next pose is uh, absent eyes, and this is Rolly's pose. Rolly is definitely winning this one. Hardy is beating definitely Bonac, but uh, Rolly is beating uh, Brandon. Not very close though, Br Brandon is also very good at uh, abs and thighs, but uh, Roll is just much better because of those thighs, because of the quads. They are properly shaped. And now we come to the most muscular and I would give this one to Roly actually. As far as Bonac versus Hadi, I would go with Bonac in this one. So overall, my prediction still stays the same, just the way I said it. Brandon, Roly, William Bonac and then Hadi. Now this is your top four, that's for sure, unless something drastically changes tomorrow, but that's probably not gonna happen. This is your top four. Hardy Chopin, William Bonek, Brandon Curry and Rolly Winkler, just as I predicted and many people also thought so. And who's gonna win the Mr. Olympia? If you ask me, Brandon Curry, I would still go with him. I'm pretty convinced, I'm pretty confident that's gonna happen. As far as the second spot, it could go all three ways. But we'll see what happens. I'm not sure about the other spots, but I'm pretty sure Brandon is winning. And I'm pretty sure that he's dominating this stage rather easily. Guys, whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. And also subscribe to my channel for more Mr. Olympia and all kinds of bodybuilding updates. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. All the best. Bye-bye.